everyone. Welcome to this video on HEOP. My name is Andrew Creel, and I am an Associate Director for Admission. I am joined by my colleague and fellow Associate Director for Admission, Chabeli Bahara, who will be presenting on our HEOP program here at the College of Mount St. Vincent. And without further ado, let's get started. Chabeli, take it away. Thank you, Drew. My name is Chabeli Bahara, as Drew explained, and I am going to be presenting on the HEOP program. So just to start off with the agenda, we're going to start by going through the HOP background and purpose. So just the purpose of the program, why it was established, the program goals, how do we accomplish these goals, program requirements, economic eligibility, and how to stand out throughout the process. At the end, we're gonna open it up to some questions. Drew's actually going to prompt me on these questions so that they can help you throughout the process. And these are questions that students normally ask as they're going through the process. A little bit on the HOP background and purpose. In May of 1969, the New York State Department actually authorized programs to expand educational opportunities in independent institutions of higher education. For students that need the help and the Department of Education and the government itself has realized that these students can actually benefit from a program like this. The purpose of this program is to help so many students out there and as a first generation student, I think that this program is amazing and it's something that we need. And I'm so happy that we have it here at Mount St. Vincent. Let's go through the program goals. What are the goals of this program specifically? First is to provide access. Access to these students who didn't have all the resources probably in high school to succeed, to get the best grades. So these students are economically disadvantaged as well as educationally disadvantaged. Once these students apply to college and get into college and are part of the HEOP program, the goal is to retain these students, to make sure that these students receive all the support that they need to graduate. Academic support, emotional support, any support that they need to get them to succeed. So access, retention, success. We want to make sure that they succeed not only on campus, and that they stay on campus, but that they succeed once they graduate, that they are able to find jobs, that they are able to establish themselves in the community and go beyond. So how do we accomplish these goals? Students who are admitted to the program here at CMSV benefit from the following, programs and services. So once the students are admitted into the HOP program, they are mandated to attend four week summer program where students not only have to take the courses that I stated previously, but they also receive mentorship. They also go to workshops um, to help them in this transition and support them so that once the first month of classes begins, they are ready to go. Aside from that, we also offer them a well-rounded education, not only as an HEOP student, but just by attending the College of Mount St. Vincent, we have so many classes and courses that the students take that help them and prepare them, not only for the success at Mount St. Vincent, but beyond. Aside from that, these students also receive tutoring and tutoring is actually mandated for the first year. They receive the support that they need so that they can succeed academically. Advising is also a benefit of this program. So the students receive academic advising, career advising, all resources, as I stated, to help them succeed on campus and beyond Mount St. Vincent. We want to prepare these students to succeed anywhere that they go and of course graduate and obtain their degree because normally these are students that without these resources they wouldn't be able to succeed and accomplish the goal of obtaining that degree. And aside from all the academic benefits of this program there are also some financial benefits. The students that receive the HEOP scholarship and are part of this program receive a full need financial aid package. This package, of course, is a combination of grants and loans. Just a reminder, grants is money that you do not have to pay back. Loans is money that you do have to pay back. However, this package is a full package for these students. So the financial assistance is tremendous, especially for a private education. These students, aside from the full financial aid package that they receive with a mix of grants and loans, also receive a stipend for books and supplies. So that's the additional help to be able to be as prepared as possible for the classes that they are going to take throughout their four years. This is also a commuter based program. What that means is that the students that are part of this program commute to campus. They do not live on campus, so they are ineligible to live on the campus because the program is specifically for commuter students. 
I love and love to accentuate this because a lot of HOP students sometimes are interested in living um, on campus, but the program isn't established for that. It's established for commuter students. And because it's a commuter program, the students also receive a monthly Metro card so that they can commute to campus. So that's an additional help. So the program is helping them academically and financially as best as possible to allow these students to succeed and not have the stress that a lot of students do have about not being able to pay for their books or not being able to have the supplies that they actually need to study and succeed academically. So the program tries to provide all the support possible. So the first requirement is you have to be a New York State resident. So whether that's you live in Manhattan, whether you live in the Bronx. So these are places that are easily commutable so that you can commute to campus. Long Island is a little bit too far. So normally students from Long Island, even though they live in the New York City area, aren't eligible for the HOP program. So that's something to keep in mind. It has to be a commutable distance. The second requirement is you have to graduate from high school. So you have to have a high school diploma or a GED. The third requirement is to apply for admission and be selected as a candidate for the HOP program. You have to first meet some academic requirements. Then if you meet the academic requirements, you will be screened financially, meaning do you meet the economic requirements to be a part of this program? And then you have to show drive and motivation to be part of this program. And I'll go into a little bit of how you can show that aside from applying and showing interest in this program. And then as I stated previously, as part of the program, you do have to complete a four week summer program, which helps prepare students to succeed once they come to campus and beyond. So those are the program requirements. And I will reiterate the summer program is mandatory. So you have to have to have to come to the four year summer program to move into the HOP program once you're here at the College of Mount St. Vincent. So these are the program requirements for the program. So as I stated previously, aside from looking at your academics, we are going to screen you financially to see if you meet the economic requirements for the HOP program. Here you can see all of what we are going to ask for you to submit, take a screenshot so that you have this information ahead of time. Because a lot of students we lose throughout the process because they don't submit these financial documents. If you meet the academic requirements, but do not submit these financial documents, we cannot continue with the process. So please, please, please send these in as soon as I, as the HOP counselor, request these documents so that we can get you through the process as soon as possible. Remember, we do have a specific amount of spots for this program. So we wanna make sure that you get your spot. And the only way for us to guarantee that is if you send us all the documents when we request them. Please send them in. And as I stated, take a screenshot because this is a lot of information, but this is what you do have to submit in order for us to screen you financially. Aside from that, to continue a little bit on the eligibility side, you can also take a screenshot of this, but this is just a chart that kind of help you and your family figure out whether or not you're economically eligible for the program. This goes by how many people you have in your household. Keep that in mind. There are some exceptions to this. For example, if you're part of the foster care system or if you're homeless, there's certain cases where this wouldn't apply to you. If it doesn't apply to you, don't, don't worry too much about taking a picture. But if it does, please do so, so that you have this information available to you right now. How do you stand out? throughout this process in order for us to know that you're going to be an amazing candidate for this program. First, complete the application. We have the Common App and the EAB application, which is our own application. Submit all of your financial aid documents as soon as we ask for them and answer all of your emails. Attend the HOP interview and throughout the interview, demonstrate to the counselors that are going to be conducting the interview that you are excited and motivated for this program and that you're just going to be a superb candidate for the HOP program. Awesome, so now we finalize the presentation and I will be answering some frequently asked questions.
Thank you so much, Shabelli, for that presentation. Now we have some frequently asked questions usually asked by students and parents. One of the questions is, what is the typical academic requirements for a student intending to apply as HEOP? Great question. So as I stated previously, the HEOP program is for academically disadvantaged students. So the GPA requirement for you to be eligible for this program is to be between a 75 and a 79 GPA. So those are the requirements academically. Thank you for that, Shabelli. And the next question is, since HEOP is a commuter-based program, you mentioned earlier that the Bronx and Manhattan are typical applicant pools for this program. Is Westchester County considered in the applicant pool as well? Yes, it is, especially because the students are able to commute to campus. Westchester is a very close location. So if you are from Westchester County, make sure that you indicate on your application that you are interested in the HEOP program. Next question is, you mentioned the pre-first year summer program. If students, for whatever reason, are not able to attend that pre-first year summer program, will they be considered ineligible for the program moving forward? Yes, they would be considered ineligible if the student does not attend the summer program. I get it, sometimes you have a vacation planned and you can't reschedule it. Unfortunately, you will have to reschedule it. It's a part of the requirement in order for you to enroll in the program. So please keep that in mind. And it's a four week summer program. So for four weeks, you have to attend the classes, the workshops and everything that has been scheduled for you to do in order for you to complete the process. So it's part of the admission requirement. Thank you for that, Chabelli. And to round up this presentation, the last question is, what is your contact information and do you have some any last minute tips for HEOP applicants moving forward? So thank you for having me. Excited to speak about this program and contact information. You can reach me at my email, which is chabelli.lajara at mountsingvincent.edu. Or you can call me at 718-405-3781. If I do not pick up, please leave a voicemail and some tips. First, look at my emails, answer my emails. And second, if you have any questions, I am the HOP counselor, so please reach out to me. I'm here to help you and provide you with any resources needed. Thank you, Chabelli, so much for that. And if you do want to get in contact with Chabelli, all of her information will be in the description below. And you can also visit our links that are in the description below to apply and also fill out our FAFSA for the upcoming year. We hope to see you guys on campus very, very soon. Bye. Thank you.